While the wing has become an invaluable archive of the Asian American experience, it is also a tribute to one of the most revered members of this community. Wing Luke was voted to Seattle City Council in 1962, the first Asian American elected to public office in the Pacific Northwest. And he had a vision to create a museum in Seattle's Chinatown International District in order to preserve the history of this neighborhood, a neighborhood that helped build Seattle. After his death in a plane crash in 1965, his family, friends, and supporters united to bring his vision to life. And today, this institution bears his name. Betty Luke is the youngest sister of Wing Luke, and I sat down with her to talk about her family's story, her brother's legacy, and her own experiences as a multicultural educator and community activist. Betty, your, your family came from Canton in, uh, in uh, the Pearl River area of China. Your grandfather came to the United States, came uh, to Seattle to start a laundry here. And we're in a room in the Wing Luke Museum, uh, which has, I'm told, some, may, maybe some family objects, some objects from the laundry. Or, mm -hmm. um, did, did all the family work in the business together? Did you ever work with with your father, or did Wing Luke uh, work with with your father? Oh, absolutely! Business? It was a family business. You had to work. You had to help run the business. Uh, if you hired outside, then you'd have have to share the profits. And right. so, we as a family uh, we pitched in 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 ways that we could uh, at our age. And it, it, at what point did he know, did the family know, did you know that he was going to go into politics? I would, I would say that just gradually he kept doing leadership things. He just kept doing more and more and uh, just really being successful at it. Right. What I admire is that he was always thinking, thinking beyond what standard um, running for office would be. His slogan when he ran for the city council and, and won was, you are not electing a platform, but a councilman. And wh what exactly did, did that mean? He spoke about, you don't elect the issue, you elect right. the man. Right. And you elect a person, uh, what they stood for, things that they valued, things they promoted, the things that they uh, cared about, uh, the ways in which they cared about the community. I would guess you, you would agree that he would have loved this museum <laughs> because of the stories it tells and the culture. He talked about, I know there's a, a quote in the, in the museum for, uh, about the importance of cultural heritage. Exactly. Uh, Not only culture uh, and preservation, but through the lens of social justice. Right. And, and so he'd be very proud. So, Betty, your own work in the community, you, you followed in, in, in your brother's footsteps in working in the community mm -hmm. for change. Can you talk about that? Oh, he was such a role model. I try to live what I teach. And so I've been involved in diversity training, multicultural education, multi-ethnic education for over 40 years. And I've had the opportunity to conduct diversity training in 36 different states across the nation. Wow. So he, he has a pretty profound legacy, it seems to me, the, the helping to you know, beginning the remaking uh, through historic preservation of the city open housing, uh, a basic cornerstone of civil rights, and for quite some time, this museum named after him. And, and as a family member, as his sister, how, what do you think his legacy is? I think his legacy is to show that it's possible to reach, it's possible to uh, make things better for others. Uh, in fact, very distinctly remember him saying, if you can make systemic change, then everybody gets a better chance. Yes. And so that is never ego, it's never aggrandizing himself. It was like, with this position, you can make bigger leaps and bigger changes and uh, 
bigger, better things <laughs> uh, for people. So th that legacy that you could reach, that you could, um, a piece of that too, is that you can reach across cultures.